Honesty, I want them, look, we got Tekken 8 coming out. You know what I want for the presets? I want a preset for every game. Give them the throwback outfit and mm. give them the new outfits. Bro. And if you want to get spicy with it, you give them the Tekken 4 style. You give them the battle outfit and then you give them the casual outfit and you switch the colors. Do it, anyway, bye. now we'll that we it. get to it, you know, you know. All right, guys, here we go. I think well, this is legit this time. Jod, Cuddlecore, Nina going up against Ling Xiaoyu. Let's go. France versus the U.S. Cuddle Court Jod. There we go. Oh, no. Already. And let's see those butterfly combos. Not going to have to do many to get to the wall this time. Yep. Uh-uh. Yep. Big damage on the wall. Got to be careful. That high sheet of step will be coming in handy. Not close enough to the wall to get the bounce, but still. A big run. Cuddle Court behind on life right now. And this is going to be very, very important to be able to deal with the AOP. And instantly, we're seeing a comeback here from Cuddle Court using that stance. Mm-hmm. We seen this yesterday too, man. That AOP really did save Cuddle Core in situations. I did not know about oh, this combo. Oh, oh. Yo, Jod with the pickup. Left left B. And, and, then, and then you see the, the high sheet of step just to let you know I'm ready. I'm crispy. Fresh even. I didn't okay. even know that was a combo. I think it was the angle. That's super, super cool. Yeah, that angle was really, really weird because it was kind of a side tailspin, so it looked like it wasn't even gonna combo. Yeah. Oh, look at this movement, and that's the scary part about a, a, a character like Nina. Yeah. Being able to have to look at this character in a lot of instances, try to react, and actually didn't take. Oh, nice! Got the sidestep there, but no punish, and that's going to be the round for Cuddlecore. Okay, okay, they're battling pound for pound, round for round right now. And the good thing about Cuddlecore's Ling is that she doesn't have to rely on these stances, you know? She's a solid enough player to be able to play that normal Tekken game, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what can really put you off. You're expecting the AOP, but it doesn't come. Oh, I'm gonna get the wall. This is big damage. If the combo connects, and you see a lot of AOP going high, she to step in the down back two, gets the wall splat, and a combo to Jod with the seven golden letters. The perfect. You know, parfait. Uh, parfait, Steve. Uh, parfait. Parfait. All right, here we go. Cut a call. Boom, ding, dong, boom, ding, boom, dong, boom, 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 Tricks up the sleeves. I, I like the willingness for Jod to go to the lows to kind of call out that AOP stance. Yeah. And then force that regular game. Okay, wait a minute. Cuddle Core with the big launcher here. This yep. is probably going to put Jod in a rage. Cuddle Core has definitely slowed down this game now and uh, has a massive life lead for it. Oh, look, a lot of back ones. Again. And again, the same combo in a full conversion, but the drop Cuddle Core ready. And oh my God, the back turn shenanigans. Speaking yes. of shenanigans, I was not prepared. Four round count in the first game. Oh my, and there's the lunch. Starting off like the first round of this game. Yeah, keeping the combo simple this time. Gonna, not gonna get the wall split, unfortunately. It was too much wall carry, actually. Cuddle core now. Oh, good confirm. Back one to stop all, all that fancy dancing from Nina. Yep, eight frame move there, man. Cuddle core uses it so brilliantly. Here we go, talking about using it brilliantly. AOP! Oh. Flip on her. AOP again, and this dude job woke up and just did it anyway. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, Cuddle Core. Oh my god, this isn't gonna be over. But what's gonna happen? Oh, oh the man! Back to mix up! What? It was looking all Jod, but Cuddlecore knew how to bring it back, especially wow. with the threat of the Rage Drive. Catches Job Duck in, and that is gonna be the first match for Cuddlecore with an amazing comeback. We're going to Suk, getting straight in oh. there. That was the first match, bro. <laughs> bro, that was the first match. Insane, insane. What a way to start off. I was a little bit tired, not gonna lie to you, Steve. I didn't get much sleep last time, but I'm awake now. <laughs> Yo, I look at people like, Steve, you look tired. I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> I'm not tired anymore. We're back, baby. Yeah, very close first match there. Jod did have the um, did have the life lead, but of course, Ling with Rage, so scary, Steve, because the back turn, obviously the Rage Drive is there, the low Rage Drive, but she used that to use the mid and get the run. If you look at how big the lead Jod had most of the time, and the answers Jod had for some of the things that Cuddlecore was doing, for Cuddlecore to run that back, that's crazy. Absolutely. Let's see what Jod can do now, though. That's definitely going to calm down Cuddle a little bit here, you know, the nerves. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course it is, you know. We know Kotokor is a very passionate player. Puts a lot of emotion into our game plan. But I'm going to tell you right now, Jod in the lead. Oh, wall splat. Nice. Full combo conversion once again. And I'm going to tell you right now, that match didn't slow down Jod not one bit. Comes back, answers back with a round. Yep. Yeah, I like this from Kotokor. She's just like, you know, mixing up the, her timing, being patient at times, being very aggressive at times. And it can really be hard to adapt to her because of that.
Yeah, and like you say, using that back one, that fast, the eight frame move that literally kind of slows down what Nina wants to do. You got to be a little uh, more tricky with your movements if you're really going to stop her after using that move. Nice that combo conversion. That was some tricky moving right there. Heavy got AOP now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Gonna get top, top back here. Oh. What a duck. Jot still in here. Spins the blue stuff. AOP, oh. full wipe the floor. That should be the round two rounds straight this time. Last time it was round for round. This time, two round lead for John. Yeah, and Cuddle Core getting a little bit too antsy there with the AOP buttons. And John with the sweep got the counter hit. So that was a great comeback, but still going to be hard to close this one out. Nice Cuddle Core, man. Oh, there, there it is, that back one, bro. You got to respect it. And it's really slowing down Jod's game plan. We saw a lot of movement at first, but now it's more based off of the fact that you have to be weary of that back one wall combo. Look at the combo. Look at the damage as well. Punish there, 12 frames, good. That's how that last game, this is exactly how the last round started to turn around for Jod. Yo, you ain't blowing in her aye. face. The disrespect, not dead yet, though. Oh! oh. Why are you ducking, John says? Three runs straight. That was two comebacks, so Steve, mm -hmm. this is going to go down to the wire. Okay. This is definitely going to go down to the wire. What does Cuddle do now? A lot of thinking to do. Do you go to another stage or do you go for the Elisa? I'm going to tell you right now, I want another stage. I want another stage because I'm a, this right here is actually scary. For Nina, this is too perfectly rounded for her. Literally, any combo, I feel like she's going to be able to take you to the wall. Unless it's a long stretch combo, landscape combo, she's going to be able to get you to the wall. There's going to be a lot of damage that comes from it. And Twilight Conflict, this is the stage that Cuddlecore likes to go to. And she's sticking with the link. Ah, and I feel like she has found a lot more success with the link here. You know, watching her play in the casuals, watching her play in the tournament, you know, over there, Elisa. Not to say that Elisa couldn't do it, but yes, I agree. I agree with this decision. Look, two of those rounds in that last match were comebacks from Jod. If she could actually close those out, this could look like a completely different match. Let's see. Here we go, ladies and lads. First match of top eight here at UFA 2022, Tekken 7. Let's go. It is going to a final match here, Steve. This is actually ridiculous. Like we said, we told you, look, look and this is just the, uh, this is the beginning course, bro. We yeah. got a whole eight-course meal well, for you. This is the first <laughs> dish that we're giving you, and it's Jod versus Cuddlecore, last game. Looking for a magic four, possibly. Yep. Oh. Got to watch out for that wild standing two as well from Ling. It's a 13 frame counter hit launcher, and it's super, super hard to win punish. Every knockdown, I feel like, really begins Jod's play. Yeah. Just staying in back turn in a lot of instances, calling out, and no text coming from Jod in this situation. Oh, nice. That was a frame trap there. Forward four from Ling is actually plus one, I believe. And that's going to be the first round, maybe. No, no duck. Don't get, uh oh, this, you can. Okay, not the breakable off. wall, but this is going to hurt no matter what. No range off. No range off there. That would have been a really good thing to do because he had so little health that he would have done a lot of damage, but a drop there from Jod. And on top of that, you got to remember, the wall, that angle on that wall would have gave you the hit, but you would not have been able to get in a follow-up at all. And you wouldn't have broken the wall. She still would have had it. It probably would have gave her rage and a better instance of coming back. I kind of agree with what the call Jod made, but it hurt him in the end. Again, no break on the two throw. And those are adding up now. Cuddlecore is catching on to something here. Going to the lows, out of back turn. Oh, big counter hit the balconies there. You might not even need it. And that's two rounds straight to answer back for Jod's three rounds straight in this last game, and you hear the crowd. The crowd is getting loud now. Good, yeah, she's going for the throws now. She realized that maybe that is a chink in the armor there. Jod, oh! Oh, wow, tried to hit him with a rolling throw. The shut up slap on top of it. Now this situation, now Hayashida step on the wall, finally blocking those lows. They really added up in these first two games for Jod. Defense here. Uh-oh, John Count here again with the flip over. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 174, flip over, got a call. Oh, what a block, John's got a chance. We've seen the combo from the last time, and the wipe the floor, Aye. set up flap, and there is John running it back around on the board, first game. Not over yet, not over yet. Okay, Cuddle Core, what's she gonna do now? Damn. Oh, oh. The, the trickiness, look at this. Catching Jai ducking quite a few times. Patience. Yep. Kind of cool, just chipping away, chipping away. Mm-hmm, lots of pokes right here. Jod can't be overly patient here. Mm -hmm. And that full combo conversion should be able to get the wall. Yeah, oh, breaks the wall, actually. I'm not sure if you wanted that. Oh, oh spring kick. Up. Needs to be careful right on this wall. Oh, nice. nice block with the wall. Oh, yeah, that's going to change up the combo and catches him again. It's going to be that. Yes, Jod is going to lose her side. Cuddlecore takes the first set in a nail-biting 2-1 